Dungeon Doom Hands Let's Talk Lore, a podcast. Let's create a, an NPC. Our, I'm our... thinking an element related NPC. An element that that can affect the weather. So how about how about like the the weatherman, the weatherman, the weatherman, the weatherman who can who is known who's known for his ability to predict the weather, but no one really knows he's controlling it. <laughs> but he lives, yeah, out in the boonies because everyone keeps pestering him, yeah. To know the a, weather, and he doesn't want to do it anymore. I imagine, like, I'm imagining in my mind when I think about this. What's that uh, child uh, movie? What's oh, not? It's like a PG-13 movie about with um, Jim Carrey, and he plays all the different characters, and that, and like the kids, the kids' parents die, and it turns out that it's, um, uh, damn, I forgot the name of it, and. Uh, it's like they they go to like the guy's house and then he's like a lizard a lizard guy and then G, uh, Jim Carrey's uh, person shows up and kills the, the lizard guy. Then they go to this other lady who lives in a in all the way up on a on a shore and she has a crickety crackety uh, house that uh, sways. Oh, um, lemony lemony lemony. It's not it's, it's, not, it's uh, lemony snickets. Something. Yeah, that's uh, Neil Patrick Harris. Yes. Yes. So I'm thinking of like the the lady uh, he lives in like a house yeah. that's like barely on rocks. The cliff. Yeah, that's yeah. like swaying, isolated. Um, um yeah. Uh, let's build that guy. What should his name be, Chris? Do I want to roll for names or do I want yeah, to be I think we, focus on names? I think we do. And lucky for everyone, I've got our bad boy here, the game master. I'm excited. I'm excited. To get that book from my freshly organized bookshelf. Oh, yeah. And he's... Oh, here we go. He's going to be an outskirts guy. This is perfect. I'm going to write so, weather, Weatherman. And we are going to use... Um, I've tried to get in touch with these guys because we use their, their books so much. Um, we'd love to sell their books um, and raise money for after-school programs for kids. Um, which I, I will eventually reach out. They can only say no so much until they uh, respond. So says Shawshank Redemption. Um, let's see. Outskirts. So many life lessons yeah. from that movie. All right. <laughs> like, always check behind the poster. Yeah, and if you need to describe, immerse your, your players the description, just any... Uh, Anything that Red says in that movie is pretty much is pretty is pretty it's pretty good. Nothing like having a sud some suds in the sun, you know, bottle of suds in the sun. Um, so, so outskirts, yeah, outskirts. And I'm gonna roll for his first name. Here we go. All right, two. Kyrell. Cyril. Yeah, Kyrell. Chiral. Chiral. Yeah. What's his last name? Let's flip the Next page. Next page. Six. Cudgel roar. Cud. 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 Cudgel. Cuddle roar. Maybe the G is silent. Cuddle roar. Cyrus. Cyril. Cudgel. Cudgel roar. Chiral cudgel roar. <laughs> no wonder he's a he's a he's a weatherman. That sounds like you know. Welcome back to the NBC News. Uh, before we get in, news. yeah. Uh, uh, Cyril Cudger, our weatherman. Cyril Cudger roar. Uh, how's the weather out on the coast? Well, it's sunny again for the 360th day of the year. Um, what are what's his brief description? You roll. Okay, I'm flipping to the next page of that's page two oh five. Ooh, Nat twenty. They like that. Uh wearing all black save for a white orchid pinned to their left breast. Alright, so it's Steve Jobs. <laughs> 
Yeah. And his uh, wants and needs. Wants and needs. Twelve. Wants to know if you've seen the Yeti. Where's that? Did you say On the first page. Really? Wants to know if you've seen a Yeti? Yeah. So he's out in the middle of nowhere. And he's afraid of a Yeti. That's very funny. I know where his his uh, his place should be, sort of, in a world building sense. It should mm-hmm. definitely be near the near the north, right? Or like in the yeah. mountains, like near, not Absolutely. in the mountains, but like near the north off the shore or something like that. Yeah. Um, and his secret or obstacle. I'll go to the, what what page is this going to be? This is going to be two hundred three. The middle so one. Ten. Um, and <laughs> he's possessed. He's possessed by a, ga- a ghost. He's possessed by a ghost of a old weatherman of, of an old yeti. <laughs> That's great. And what is he carrying around? Uh, let's find out. Another six, seven silver. 29 gold, expensive gold earrings, and a cracked mirror. Cracked mirror. Maybe that's why he's possessed. Mm. All right, so that's how we make NPCs so far on Let's Talk Lore. Chiral Cudgelroar from Place to Yet, yet to Be Known um, on our, in our world is a weatherman who's possessed by a ghost. He wears all black with the exception of a white orchid pinned to his chest. Mm -hmm. Um, And he has a cracked mirror that he carries around for some reason. Yes. He lives in a rickety rackety uh, house. Do you want to roll stats for the weatherman? Yeah, I do. Question. Yes. Do we want to roll... Because he doesn't have to be like a, a baller. crazy baller. So we could go 3d6 straight I think up. I 3d6 straight up. That's great. Let me get strength, um, dex, con, uh, intel, wisdom, and charisma. All right. Go for strength. Nine. Okay. Not bad. That's a wizard Not weatherman. Bad. Should be dexterous though. Should be dexterous. Maybe. Maybe. Ooh, that's an eight. <laughs> Constitution? Well, we'll see. <laughs> He's been in the weather a little bit. An eleven. Okay. Intelligence. Now Wisdom would be he knows it's going to rain. Intelligence would be like he's he knows outside. why it's gonna rain. He knows he knows yeah he knows that it's been humid. <sighs> All right, another eleven. Okay, not bad. All right, eighteen. Here we <laughs> go. This Here we go. Is... Come on, another eleven. Okay, so is this guy so as a weatherman? Is he? charismatic well he has to be that's pretty funny so seven uh nine (laughs) no wonder he's fired no wonder he's fired (laughs) all right so he's gonna definitely have some sort of item that he can use to uh, no he no he's possessed by a ghost yeah that's what gives him he's just some normal schmo who's been possessed by a ghost like allowed him to know the weather or predict the weather. He's possessed by a ghost that tells him what the weather's going to be. Yep. A, a long lost weatherman who only dreams of predicting the weather but has not been able to, to do so for <laughs> thousands of years. Finally, someone looked into the mirror he was sealed in and he's been able to fulfill his lifelong dreams predicting the weather <laughs> he but but this weatherman was so uncharismatic that he was fired from every weatherman job he had and was shunted out to the boonies up in the north 
Yeah, he was sitting one evening. He was sitting in his in his rickety rackety uh, house on the ledge on the pier, and as the as the weather blew back and forth, humid air clung to his skin, and a heavy fog rolled into his house, and the mirror cracked, and as he looked into it. Dampened footsteps were heard because of the of the fog. He looked into it, and he saw the ghost. And it Behind told him, him, "Yeah." And it told him, "It's foggy." For the next twenty four <laughs> hours, did the vantage on perception? Be, yeah, be careful of, <laughs> you know, while you're driving your your carriage down the road for the next twenty four hours. Use <laughs> use your fog lights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the ghost the ghost just warns him of the weather. That's great. <laughs> he only knows the weather 24 <laughs> hours ahead of time and only learns of it by being scared <laughs> from the ghost about what the weather's going to be. <laughs> That's hilarious. Dungeon Doom Hands, let's talk lore. A podcast. <laughs>